So, Foundations of Math 10 is what we're looking at here, and we are going to start with Chapter 1, Measurement. And um, we're going to talk about imperial measurement in Section 1.1. So, if you look to page 4 with me, page 4, new textbook, it talks about what um, sort of units are in imperial measurements. Now, there's imperial measurement and there is metric measurement. Okay? Metric measurement. And you probably have heard metric before, right? Metric is this system that's based on, um, you know, meters. We have centimeters, we have millimeters, right? Decameters, hectometers, kilometers, right? All this sort of stuff. So that's the metric system. And that's typically what we use in Canada here and throughout the world. It's sort of like the, the global, you know, unit of measurement uh, is the um, is the SI system. It's the system international, it, the international system of measurement. So that's the metric. Um, England, um, Great Britain, the UK, and the US um, primarily, you know, they use a lot of uh, imperial measurement. And imperial measurement consists of units of length, we'll, we'll talk about first, of the inch, okay? So the inch is, uh, this is actually an inch here on this ruler that I've shown you here on the board. That's actually one inch. Now, an inch is, you know what we're going to do? We're going to talk about reference. Um, a referent, and I'm going to write that down, referent, is sort of how you can estimate this length, so an inch. Now, there's different ways, for different people, it's different. For myself, it is literally the width of my thumb at the widest point is exactly one inch. So, if I draw this terrible picture of my thumb, okay, there's my other fingers and so on, um, here's my thumbnail, okay, at the widest part here, Right, you know, what would be like, you know, from here to here. For me, that's exactly one inch. Okay? Now, you may or may not have a ruler. Do you have a ruler with you? Anybody have a ruler? Okay? You should have a geometry set of some sort that you should be bringing to class. So I see a geometry set there. Um, if you have a geometry set or a ruler, you can um, check this out yourself. I have a few somewhere. When you use a referent, what this means is it helps you to uh, estimate, okay? So let's say you have um, a book. And let's just say for kicks that your thumb at, at its widest point is one inch two, okay? So everyone put your thumb up. Give me a thumbs up. Right on. That means you guys approve of what we're doing here. I, I like that. But this is one inch, okay? So for some of you, you girls or smaller people, this may not be quite an inch. And for some of you big guys, maybe a little bit more. But let's just say this is an inch. What you could do is you could quickly estimate, you know, the width of your textbook, okay? By, you know what, here's one thumb length, there's two thumb lengths, there's three, and so on. You could kind of like do this, you know, one, two, three, four, five. So what I want you to do is I want you to do that right now. I want you to tell me, give me an estimate as to how wide this textbook is. Go ahead and do that right now, just using your thumb as a reference. And I'll give you a second to do that. Okay, so I, I did this and I guessed eight and a half, and it actually is exactly eight and a half. Now, another thing that you might notice, I want you to look uh, look down at the floor, and I've kind of got these squares on the floor already. But if you look down at the floor, do you see the tiles on the floor? Okay, you see those tiles on the floor? Guess what? Do you know how long each of these these are? They are one foot. Very, very good. So our next unit that we're going to talk about is the foot. Okay? And interesting, okay, and notice a couple things here, guys. One inch, the little abbreviation for inch is like two sort of like little notches there. I've messed that up now, but one inch. See, two little, uh, not really apostrophes, but two little kind of check signs. Okay? Um, and for a foot, it's just one. Okay? It's like a... Well, it's like a prime sign or... Anyways, whatever. That's inch. This is foot. Okay? And each one of these squares on the floor, the tiles, are one foot uh, long. 
And interesting enough, okay, interesting enough, and uh, I'm going to try some a new feature here with this new program I've got, so just bear with me for a second. I'm going to insert, are you ready for this? Look at this. Hey, there I am. Hey, everyone. I'm going to show you this right here. This is my shoe. And guess what? This shoe is exactly one foot long. So a foot is literally based on the size of a foot. So yes, this little video is going to be in your lesson here. And there's my shoe. It's one foot wide. Got it? Whoa. Cool, eh? Technology. Okay. So, there's that video. We'll put that aside there for uh, later. Okay? So, the referent would be your foot. So, I'm going to draw that shoe of mine. Okay. Okay? So, this is literally one foot. And if I line my shoe up, like right on the tile here, it is almost exactly one foot. It's like maybe a quarter of an inch over. Okay? Really, really small. Okay. What's another one? Any football players uh, around? Or any football enthusiasts that might be 